Hello everyone, it's Melissa. I'm back and this is the last back to school project that I will work on for 2019 and I could not be happier. I put all my back to school stuff away and pulled up my holiday stuff so go me. I've got Halloween, fall related type product and Christmas out um, on my table now. So, uh, so what you saw me there like per usual pulled from my product jar and um, I'm starting off here by misting some Studio Calico clay mist onto the background of a notebook type 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Um, I don't know where it's from, so I can't tell you, but I did already pre-cut a couple pieces that I, <coughs> excuse me, that I have hopes of using as far as um, my efforts to layer this page. So um, I skipped over it, but I did pull pattern paper, photo corners, mixed media, eyelets, thickers, flare, and clips from my product jar. And in fact, that is why, because I pulled the mist, that's why I did the, um, the splatter in the background because I, um, yeah, I pulled that and I like it. You know, it's fine. It's subtle. Um, so I have just a bunch of mismatch pieces of pattern paper. I don't know where any of them are from. I didn't know, how, however, that Back to School was a cut apart from the Simple Stories Smarty Pants um, sheet of paper that I have in my stash. I actually used another one of those Project Life cut aparts in my son's lab as well, which I'm pretty sure you would have that video is already posted. So if I remember, I will link to that um, up above here. And um, also, you know, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I would love that. And um, yeah, then you can stay up to date with all my new videos and posts. And I also, you know, post all the things and whatnot and what I'm doing on my Facebook and Instagram page. That will also be linked in the description box below. Okay, so back to the layout. So basically all I'm doing is layering and I'm kind of not doing a not so great job at it, to be honest. I don't know what I'm doing. I keep cutting down and going back and forth. Uh, it's kind of crazy. I don't, I'm not sure. You know, I like, I like the symmetry of all the papers, but in the end you'll see in the final page that I end up still going wonky my wonky, you know, um, way that I do my photos and cards. I end up, right now you see that picture is totally straight. By the final product, you'll see that I've put it on a slant and tilted it as long, along with that Project Life card and other pieces of paper, um, other layers that I tuck along the way. So one of my pulls was thickers. And in fact, I am going to use a word hello from the Dear Lizzie Snapshots Thickers and that's black foam and the one the only alteration I make in this is I don't like that long cur or that long tail hanging off the last letter the O so I will in the end remove that I'll cut that off um, it just seemed a little too much for a back to school layout but yeah um, so essentially my title is going to be hello back to school and along the way I will add the words first day and to be honest I did that because I had an element there that uh, I was going to put there and glued and everything and then I didn't like it so I pulled it up and tore the paper so the first day was an afterthought but it regardless it was a happy accident I love the way the page turned out so um, so you see there from my little bicycle I pulled a hall pass ticket I'm using my EK success Notebook punch, you guys know how much I love that thing. I'm using that on a piece of orange pattern paper from my stash and um, just crumpling up the edges per my usual. I have a piece of, let's see, two pieces of flare on the bottom. Well, actually, one's a piece of flare from <clears throat> October afternoon, I want to say, those daily flash pins. And the other one is from Chic Tags. They're no longer in business, but that bottom one says school rules. And this is my child that loves school. 
she wants summer to be over so she can get back to being with her friends and all the fun that school has to offer, I guess. <laughs> so um, I am using that ruler sticker from that really old sticker sheet in my stash. Taking the sticky off my brush and cornstarch. And later on you'll see that I cut that ruler down just to the 9 mark because um, she's in ninth grade. This layout's you know, documenting uh, ninth grade. So I thought it was um, symbolic to cut it down to the nine. I actually had a piece of chipboard from her layout last year that I used, and it documented, it went up to the number eight, and I was documenting eighth grade first day, so I, I used that ruler as well. It was perfect. So, so yeah, I'm going to cut it down. I'm going to actually straighten the other edge. And I'm going to use the... Um, the ruler just basically as a, another layering element. So, um, yeah, I'm having, you know, quite a bit of difficulty only because I'm being so unsure with my layers. I don't have a lot of it glued down. I've just glued like bits along the way. And so everything's shifting and it's driving me nuts. Sorry, I'm, I'm keep quiet. I have tickles in my throat. And so <clears throat> I'm taking this opportunity to drink some coffee. So let's see, I've been having a great week. I, <clears throat> excuse me, I um, cranking out all this back to school stuff. So um, if, if you haven't watched my other videos, like I mentioned, I do um, a page, 12 by 12 page for each of their school books and a 12 by 12 page for our family album. I also update their last year's picks and school picks that the, that the school photographer takes. Um, yeah, I just do a whole little thing. And um, I love it. So there you see I modified the O in hello and just cut that tail off. And you know, I end up using, you see that, <clears throat> you see that piece of packaging there, the blue one on the screen there? I'm actually going to use that as an element. I'm going to cut some of it into a tag and I'm going to use um, the other half of it for uh, layering, color layering on the top there. So I'm adding a paper clip because I mean it's you know all about the office supplies and I already took the time to make that picture a little wonky. I went ahead and added my photo corner because that was one of my product pulls and um, yeah I love photo corners. You know who Jen Gallagher got me like loving photo corners again and I just love everything she does with that stuff so um, so let's see there's me I cut that tag it's just the packaging I gave it a whole reinforcer <clears throat> and I added some pattern paper cutter parts that on the top that freshman year was just a sticker underneath says homework report card and learn I also have one of those post-it notes that looks like a comp notebook I'm going to use that as another element. I have the piece of flare that says nerd. Yeah, so let's see. I'm just going ahead and gluing down everything. <clears throat> Excuse me. I apologize for my throat, you guys. Uh, my poor girl is sick, too. She stayed home yesterday. She was barking like a dog. It was awful. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to start gluing stuff down because it's incredibly frustrating for me that everything keeps shifting. And that's the difficult part about doing a layout where there's layers involved because you want to be able to still tuck and, you know, move things around. And once it's glued, you're kind of stuck. So, so I'm going to use that comp notebook, post-it note thing as another element again. I, I use that. I don't know if I use that in all three layouts, but yeah, either way, you'll see it in the end. Um... And this is the rare instance that I do not have a, I don't not, I don't add a string to my uh, tag there. I leave the eyelet empty. And I do add an eyelet at the end because it was one of my product pulls. But I added the whole reinforcer after I cut that out with my tag die. And uh, yeah, I decided not to. I just thought I had enough of all the things. And it was just good without, so. It's probably one of the very few times. Uh, so let's see, I think I've already mentioned that I had the photo corner. I'm just making sure everything's straight. 
having a grid paper as your background uh, it makes for lining things up very easy but also when things are crooked it's extremely noticeable so I wanted to pay attention to that detail when I was assembling and gluing everything down <clears throat> there's my messy bun in the way I'm sorry about that so you can see I've added first day next to the hello um, I'm pretty sure I mentioned that was an afterthought because I tore the paper uh, let's see I have a paper clip on the photo I'm going to adhere down my piece of flare I'm going to use my tiny attacher and staple the school rules piece of ephemera on the bottom there making sure everything is glued down and I will add my journaling onto the photo itself and I just I think it turned out super cute super cute and yeah again I would love for you to follow me subscribe to my channel follow me over on Facebook and Instagram I'm always posting some fun crafty updates so um, yeah so lastly I'm going to add my stamped element and I decided to pull that learn stamp from Carrie Bradford again and I'm going to stamp the future is bright and I'm going to do that with black ink on a piece of vellum and then that element is just going to get tucked right in front of that blue so it'll be very very visible and that is going to wrap it up you guys there is some close-ups here and there'll be some still shots at the end i appreciate you watching my video and taking time out of your day and uh, if you like this give it a thumbs up and i'll be back soon and have a super great crafty or whatever you want to do fun week bye guys <laughs>